Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over cube one of the recently code contest 213 check away formation through concatenation. So, this one is actually kind of really tricky for q one, uh, or at least there's a lot of making sure you're doing it right. But the idea, the, the thing to notice is that all the numbers are distinct, right? Because all the numbers are distinct and all the num, um, because all the numbers are distinct, we don't have to worry about like, you know, pathing and stuff like that. We can actually just go like, you know, like a, in a greedy kind of way, just keep on taking the piece that allow us to contain you, our journey through the array, right? Um, and f by that, I mean like, it, you know, um, here we start at 85, we just take the piece that starts with 85. Here we go to 91, we go to 91. Four, let's find a piece of the four in the beginning. Which also cuts out 64, 78, 78, right? So then, so explanation wise, I think that's pretty okay. And then now it's like, well, how do you implement it? I think that's the tricky part for me. Uh, and the tricky part is, yeah, so basically what I did is that I put all the pieces in a lookup table where the first, um, the first element is the lookup key. And then basically that's what I do. I go through the array, I go through index through, from, you know, while the index is not at the end of the array, whoops, I check if if we use the lookup table and the, f the next element is not in the lookup table at all, then bam, we're done. We turn false because that means that there's no way to get to our next number, right? Otherwise, we, look, we take this piece, we look at it one at a time to see whether the numbers match up and... If 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 the if any of the numbers don't match, we return false, no go, right? And if we get to the end of the target array, then we return true because even if the pieces have extra things left over, as long as we go through it, we go bam, we're good. So that's kind of the idea. And if we go through the entire array at the very end as well, then we return true. It's greedy. It's more implementationy and thinking about it, but um. Yeah, overall, a pretty standard problem, uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can watch me solve it live next. Go, go, go. Kind of annoying for a easy one. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
True, true, false, true, false. Hmm. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and let me know what you think about my explanation this far. Every question you ask, I'll get better at answering them in the future preemptively. I'll see you later. Take care.